So ladies and gentlemen, let's meet each of our panels, starting with Mr. Goodall. Sir, thank you very much for being with us today. I heard you had a very interesting journey getting to Korea and then deploying to, to uh, an area we called uh, Christmas Hill. So are, what are some of your memories of going from home to Korea and then up to the front lines? Well, I went in the Army uh, January 15th, 53, and I took 16 tough weeks of basic training uh, for this, and I, uh, I came home in uh, 10 days, and then I left, and I, I went to... Uh, to uh, uh, and uh, went down to uh, uh, and got with a bunch of guys at the uh, St. Louis, Missouri and got on a troop train and headed for Korea. And, uh, but we got to uh, California. It took us a while to get there. And uh, we... Uh, after getting there and all, we got on a, uh, the U.S. Marine Adder and, and headed for Korea. And we, and we got there on July the 3rd, uh, 1953. Uh, I, I did not think about uh, uh, the wartime then, but found out that uh, the division that I took basic with were on the front lines. And uh, so that, that was tough. And so uh, they, uh, on July the 13th, they, uh, we had to go to the front lines because they lost a lot of men. So when, when uh, we, we got up the front lines, we had to be pulled up by uh, a rope, and it was a tough situation to get in up there. But we, we made it up there okay. And uh, then uh, uh, after getting up there, uh, I didn't think, but after taking basic, you know, you learn things. And a round came in from the enemy. I ducked and hit the ground, and it's a good thing I did because it took the sandbags right over top of my head, and uh, things like that. Uh, Earl, thank, thank you for those insights. You, you know, my experience is the, the intensity of the combat during the Korean War and the demanding train and weather the environment that, that you had to operate and fight in isn't well understood until you've actually been there. And so, so thanks for those insights. Um, I think we also, my generation and the younger generations uh, fail to realize how long it really took to get there. You know, literally uh, train boats, trucks, uh, sometimes helicopters to get that great distance that, that 13 hours away from here in, by today's travel. So thank you.